Today, we're wrapping up our week-long series, Hampton's Hideaways, our exclusive look at some very famous people's fabulous digs. Our tour guide all week long has been our entertainment reporter, Jill Rappaport, who managed to finagle herself into various situations. Hi, Jill. <laughs> Is that your way of saying sucking up? Right? Basically. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, well, today, Billy Joel is our host, and he took me to his home away from home, and it's the best waterfront property in the Hamptons. In a career that has spanned three decades, there are two things Billy Joel could never live without. His piano and the open sea. Salt water, not, not just water, it has to be salt water. There she is, the redhead. Wow, Billy, a little bit bigger than I expected. Well, it's 65 feet. Not bad for the Long Island kid who never had a boat growing up, but he may do. I understand that you used to take them out without permission. Steal them? Is that a good way of putting it? No, we'd borrow them. Billy Joel's borrowing days have long passed. Now with six boats, he calls himself the Commodore of his own flotilla. We take it under these lines, we go to the lines. The redhead is his largest. I've gone out with a lot of women who were redheads. It's an Irish thing, it's a Scottish thing. Ready to go. What I was trying to do is try to keep the bow in. Right. Let the wind take you, because you got plenty of wind today. And just make sure no one's behind us. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move into the main helm station now. The water means everything to you. Yeah. I sort of feel like Adrian Block sometimes, <laughs> the explorer. You know, and all of a sudden I find land, land ho! This is uh, your main home station. Over there we've got what's called the DPS. Here's your radar, here's your throttles, and that's it. Wanna try it? Oh, can I? Yeah. Now make Great. sure we don't hit that bulkhead. Okay, I'll try. All right. And there's a green buoy to your right. Anything important they're trying to tell us? Uh, we're probably running somebody over. That wouldn't work. Right. <laughs> now we're going to go down the main companionway. Oh, this is great. It's beautifully decorated. Did you, did you do this yourself? Yeah. You yeah. did all the decorating? Most of it, yeah. Wow, um, Billy, I'm impressed. It's supposed to be Hibernian, Scottish, and Irish. So we put, you know, shillelaghs and <laughs> tartans and uh, all this stuff. The highlight of the redhead is the deck house, which Billy designed to look like a pub, complete with beer on tap and a little cheesecake. This is the master stateroom. Here's an after deck off the master stateroom, which is really probably the best view. This is very romantic. I don't know so. <laughs> this is the top of the boat. We actually <laughs> call this the, the dance deck. I picture a big piano there. What do you think? No, 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 nah. no. I, I get on this to get away from the piano, actually. All you have to do is go, you know, a half a mile offshore, a few hundred yards offshore. You're on another planet. You're just another guy on a boat. And uh, for me, it's it's a great, you know, getaway. Well, I'm And of course, his boats have become a place for inspiration. The lyrics come to your head, or the music, which comes first when you're I think there? it's the music. I think the, the sea has a natural rhythm to it. Well, that particular song has a rhythm to it, which is kind of a tribal rhythm, which actually reflects waves pounding. Bang! Dun, 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 dun. Bang! Bum, 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 bum. So I could own my down People only think of you in terms of music. But you've got a whole other life there. You could retire from the music, Billy, and just pursue that, right? I'm, that's kind of heading that way, yeah. Really? <laughs> Billy's second career started eight years ago with a design he first sketched on a cocktail napkin. I had a simple idea, and that was, why can't you have a boat that goes fast that doesn't look like it was computer design? His idea became a reality with the Shelter Island Runabout, a 38-foot speedboat. It started out just, I was going to build one boat. And then pe people started calling up and saying, where do I get a boat like that? Where do you get one of them things? <laughs> so we went into business. The runabout is handcrafted. Costs over $400,000. Do go much faster than this? A lot faster. <laughs> and Billy has already sold 30 of them. How fast is he going now? Oh, we're only going about... 
20 knots. But how much of that goes along with the I own a Billy Joel boat? I don't think it's that. I really don't think it has anything to do with it. I mean, look, if Keith Richards designed a boat, you know, I don't know if I'd want to buy one, you know? <laughs> okay, where's the steering wheel, you know? Life is good, huh, Bill? I think so. Peter, pour it on a little bit next time you go around. <laughs> well, don't pour it on too much, Peter. It seems everything you touch turns to gold. Anything you'd love to do, though, that you haven't done? I'd like to have a, a long-term successful relationship with a woman. How about that? Well, maybe the yacht will help. I'd call it a chick magnet, wouldn't you? Well, I hope so. There you go. Go ahead, nail it. King of the world. Now, as far as his real home goes, he just bought a house down the street from the one he sold to Jerry Seinfeld. That was so much fun. Oh, it looked great. And if great. that doesn't attract the chicks, tell him to buy a little puppy. That always works, <laughs> He had too. the little puppy. Didn't you see it earlier? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's He's got true. everything going. Okay. Well, he'll be fine. Anyway, Jill, thanks. The series was great. Really, really great. Enjoyed I want to thank it. my editor, Billy Clark, and Robin Sindler, my producers, and Sabrina Clay, because they did such the a great Oscars? job. I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you, Jill. Up next, Shakira in concert, but first, this is today on NBC.